Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you an in-depth tutorial on how to make resin shaker charms like the ones that I'm showing in these clips. So before getting into um, epoxy resin or UV resin, you want to make sure that you're wearing the correct um, protective uh, gear. So what I'm showing you here is a mask that I wear with organic vapor filters as well as some goggles. There's actually a better protective gear that I'm going to actually insert a picture of that I would recommend that you guys wear as well as gloves. That is very important before getting to epoxy resin. Also, you want to make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated area. I usually work in either my garage or porch, or if you're working inside of a room, make sure the windows are open in that area because you want it to be ventilated so that you don't get sick from epoxy resin. In this clip, I'm just showing you guys some shaker charm molds. Um, these two molds are my own that I have made and I sell on my website. And at the end of the, this clip, I'm also showing you guys some shaker molds that you can get from AliExpress as like a cheaper option. Now I'm going to get into mixing my two-part epoxy resin and I'm going to then set it aside for five minutes before I start pouring in my resin into the molds. I've already added paint, glitter, pigments to all of my um, separate cups of resin and I'm just pouring them into the molds now. Now that 24 hours have gone by, I'm going to start demolding the pieces and I'm not going to lie, in this video clip right here, I actually waited only 12 hours and I know you shouldn't do that but I'm impatient and I have problems so don't do what I did. <laughs> But when it comes to actually drilling the molds, you want to make sure that you actually wait the 24 hours so that they are fully cured because you would not be able to really um, drill properly when it's still soft. So I'm in this clip, I'm just using a hand drill and I do not recommend this because it hurts your hands and it takes a long time to drill. But if you are on a budget, this is a good option because the drill is only like $2 and I got it at Hobby Lobby, but just know it's going to take some time. You guys probably noticed that I'm also doing this drilling above a box because you want to make sure that you catch these um, resin dust or particles and you don't want to be doing this drilling inside your house. You want to make sure you're doing it outside because if you inhale this stuff, it could affect you. So now I'm going to be using a rotary um, electric drill and I am going to be doing this in the box and make sure you're also still wearing your mask because the, like I said before the dust particles can affect you if you're not wearing the correct protection and um, this is also kind of dangerous too so I would not advise anybody to do any of these types of crafts with your children or anything like that. So now I'm going to actually wash my charm pieces because of the dust and everything. I like to make sure that they're fully clean before I actually get into filling them and stuff like that. So now I'm just showing you guys some stuff that you can fill your sugar charms with. These are some beads that I currently sell on my website. Um, I'm also showing you guys some stuff that you can get from AliExpress, um, eBay, Michaels, Joann's. So yeah. Or you can even make some of this stuff like female clay um, sprinkles like here in this clip.
To actually make the resin charms into shaker charms, you're going to need some transparency sheets, um, a dry erase marker, preferably with the um, eraser end, a precision tip bottle, some scissors, baby oil, UV resin, and a UV lamp. I just use a um, UV nail lamp. And somebody asked me if you can use water instead of baby oil, and my answer would be no, just because I've heard that water can mold over um, in the charm if you use it. And as well, baby oil is very cheap, and it gives a very nice effect to the way that the beads and uh, Fimo stuff fall in the actual charm. To make it easier for myself, I like to cut my transparency sheets into four sections. It just allows me to work better with um, when I actually trace um, the shaker area. So now taking the transparency film, I'm going to put it over the charm in the area that I want to trace the, for the shaker area. And I'm going to take my dry erase marker and I'm going to start tracing. You want to be kind of slow with this so you make sure that you accurately um, trace around it. Because sometimes I've had issues where I went too fast and I cut too much and then it didn't fit properly. cutting all the transparency film I just like to place them over the pieces just to make sure that they fit so on a flat surface I'm gonna take the eraser end of the marker and I'm just gonna start cleaning up around the area where the marker is at and I'm also going to use the paper towel to kind of clean it up I'm gonna further clean um, the transparency film because sometimes not only dust gets on it your fingerprints and stuff like that and you want to make sure that it's like super duper clean before you actually um, glue the transparency film onto the charms so now you guys can see I'm taking a wet wipe and I'm just cleaning the surface of the transparency sheet I like to do this just because I want to make sure that my um, Transparency film is as super clean as I can get them and then I'm just wiping them down with the um, paper towel because even though I use a dry erase marker there's still sometimes some streaks and stuff like that. Now that I have all my transparency films all cut and everything like that I'm going to actually start get putting in my filler pieces into the charms and just making sure everything is flipped over and everything looks right and if I need to add or take away anything. I'm going to squeeze my UV resin into a separate cup because I don't want to waste too much product by actually using the applicator tip. So I'm going to use a toothpick which later on you I'm going to switch to a paint dotting tool to apply the UV resin around the areas um, that I want to apply the transparency film to. You want to be careful and make sure that you don't get any of the UV resin into the actual part where the beads and stuff are because it can um, get those pieces stuck when you use the UV light. I've had that happen to me and it sucks. So Now I'm going to be using some tweezers to put the transparency film over the areas that I applied the UV resin and then I'm going to take a toothpick to really push down the edges to make sure that the glue really attaches to everything. Then I put my UV lamp over the charms for about two minutes um, for each charm. Sometimes I put multiples on at the same time. 
after they have dried in the UV lamp, I'm actually going in with a second coat around the edges of where I applied the transparency film just because I like to make sure that they are really sealed and locked in because if you don't do this, um, when you actually dome the pieces with um, epoxy resin, they can leak into the um, shaker charm with the baby oil and it can actually make your pieces like the beads and stuff get stuck and you would either have to remake the piece or toss it and I like to avoid that just by putting on a second coat on the outside and yeah. And again, I'm putting them under the UV light for about two minutes as well. This is how the charms look like before you're putting um, baby oil inside of them. Um, if you want to leave them as dry shakers, you can go ahead and just dome them. But I like putting baby oil in mine. So I'm just going to take the precision tip bottle and start pouring in the um, baby oil inside. If you want, you can actually go ahead and dome the pieces first and then um, put in baby oil. But I prefer to just put in the baby oil first and secure the hole with um, UV resin and then putting it under the UV light and then doming. It's just personal preference honestly. And this is how the shaker charms look like before I get into doming them. I actually have a full tutorial showing you guys how I dome slash um, glaze my resin charms. Um, just click the i card above to watch that tutorial. But what's different is in this video I'm actually using art resin instead of art and glow just because I heard really good things about it. And so far I really do like this resin for doming. Now I'm just using a toothpick just to get rid of any bubbles that I see anywhere or any debris. And I'm also going to use this little makeshift hut to put over the pieces just to make sure that I can keep out any dust that will try to come on them over the 24 hours before I flip them over and dome the backs. After 24 hours, I'm going to flip them over and then I'm going to get into doming the backs of them. And then once they're done, 
doming I'm gonna wait another 24 hours and then the pieces will be done And this is how some of my sugar charms turned out and I hope you guys found this video very helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them down below but don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends and subscribe and see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye now!